Hey guys, this lesson's on finding the electric potential drop um, through a couple of capacitors. So let's say we have a problem that looks something like this. And we have our uh, two capacitors here. This capacitor with a uniform electric field through it all of um, 525 um, newtons per coulomb. And one over here with negative 225 in the x-direction, and they both have zero in the y-direction. And we have point A over here, from uh, which is negative 0.4 uh, meters. Let's say this is the origin, by the way. And we have point B over here with 0.4. So we want to find the potential drop from um, the path A to B. So from here to here, uh, what is the potential drop? Well, we have to look at this as two different things, since we have a different electric field here, and a different electric field here. So essentially, um, we just cut this up in two parts. So for negative uh, 0.4, or for 0.4 meters, the electric field is going to be 525. And then we add that, or um, actually subtract it because it's. Um, it's going to be going the other way with for 0.4. It's going to be going negative 225. So essentially, you just come down and eventually, uh, once you uh, do all your math out, you'll get that the drop is going to be um, negative 120 volts. So that's how you figure out from here to here and here to here. Now, the question would be, um, if I had a proton and I and it went from A to B, what would be its kinetic energy uh, when it reaches B? And the way we do that is we multiply our um, 120 volts, or negative 120, sorry, times uh, the Q of a proton, which is 1.6 e to the negative 19th coulombs. And um, remember when we multiply volts and coulombs, we get energy. So we know from, if we take a proton from A to B, um, there's going to be a uh, electric potential, or a um, potential of a negative um, 1.92 e to the negative 17th joules. So since, there, since there's going to be that much of a drop of potential, then uh, that, that means that that drop needs to turn into some type of other energy, which means uh, the drop of potential is going to become the kinetic energy. So I guess I should put this is U and this is K. So, so the kinetic energy went from A when it reaches B is 1.92 E to the negative 17th joules. And kind of what you can think of that is like, say you have Earth here, and you, you raise a ball this high, you do this much, um, uh, and it has whatever, let's say, um, one joule of energy. When you drop it, and it, right before it touches the ground, the Earth does negative one joules of work on it, which means uh, all that all that negative needs to turn into some energy. So that means it's going to have one joule of kinetic energy, and um, that's the way you can think about it, kind of, for a problem like this. If you have any other questions, uh, please send me a message, and I will be happy to get back to you. I'll see you next lesson.